In this video, we will write the form processing code that will use the methods of our authentication service.cfc component. So in ColdFusion Builder, I return to my includes folder and I open the login form.cfm file. The login form is a very simple form. It has three form fields, the user email right here, the user password, and the submit button that also has a name, FLD submit login. All right, so just above the form here, I will write two small comments. So the form processing begins here. Then I copy paste that comment, the form processing ends here. And the first thing that I want to do in between those two comments is to use a CF if to verify if the form has been submit it. To do that I use the struct key exists function of ColdFusion and I will check in the form scope if the FLD submit login key exists in which case it means that the form has been submitted. Now if the form has been submitted what I will do is create an instance of the authentication service component. So to do that I use cfset to create a variable that I will name authentication service. Remember that if I do not supply a scope to that variable it will be created in the variable scope which is local to this page and I will make that equal to the create object function of ColdFusion and I want to create here a component and the component is that one authentication service.cfc so the path to that component using the dot notation is cf training dot components dot authentication service like that. Now I save the page. Now we could have created that component instance in the application.cfc file as we did with the other components of the site, but in this case it is not needed. We cache in the application scope the components that are used often throughout the site. The page service.cfc for instance is a good example because it is used by almost every single page of the application, so caching that page service.cfc component is very useful. But here the authentication.cfc component will be used only by the members of the site. So it won't be used nearly as often as the page service component. So in this case, I just instantiate it when I need it. All right, now that I have an instance of the authentication component, I will go to the next step of the process and I will do the server side data validation. So to do the server side data validation I need a CF set and I will use in the authentication service the validate user method. Remember this method takes two arguments. The first one is the email and in this case it's going to be the email that is supplied in the form that has been filled in the form and submit it with the rest of the data and the password is going to be the form dot fld user password so the password that has been submitted with the login form. Now remember that this validate user function returns some value, it returns an array an empty array if all the data validates and an array containing error messages if some data does not validate correctly. So I want to store the array that is returned by the method in a variable that is local to this page. So I create the a error message variable and I make it equal to whatever data comes back from the validate user method of the authentication service.cfc component. Now I need to check if with the CF if this a error messages array that is returned from the validate user method is empty and I do that using the array is empty 
function of call fusion and I want to check if this a error messages array is empty and if it is empty I can safely proceed to the login procedure itself and to do that I need another CF set and I will use the authentication service again but this time I will use the do login method and I will pass the same two arguments the email and the password that have been submitted in the form also remember that this do login method returns some data it returns a boolean value true or false and I want to store the result of that do login function in a variable that is local to this page so I will create the is user logged in variable and I will make it equal either to true or false depending on the data returned by the do login function. So this is the form processing script of the login form. You see that thanks to the authentication service that CFC and thanks to the methods that we wrote in that component, it is very small and very simple to understand. In the next video, we will move on to the next step of the process and output some feedback messages to the user depending on the different situations that can arise.